Hello everyone, so I'm Rohit and this is the day 18 of the admin series. In this day, we'll talk about the view and view rule. What is the view and what is the view rule? So let's understand that last time if you remember that we have created a table called book table, right? In this book table, when we created that, it by default create one uh, view called the default view. So this is the default view, whatever that have created. And we created a couple of fields, right? And that couple of fields are um, all the fields are added to the default view. For example, this books table can be accessed by ITIL user and can be accessed by the end user. So two people can or two type of people can be access this. One type of people is the ITIL user. They can access that. And then another type of people, the end user people, they can access that, right? So what we'll do, IT people will be able to see all the fields under this default view. And then we'll create another view called end user view or uh, portal view or anything called that view oh, okay so in this portal view that will have very limited field like two or three fields will add that so that in the back end all the field will be there but end user will be able to see only these records and then they will be able to see only minimum fields right and also there is the options called view changer. So if your user have a view changer role, for example, ITIL will have this view changer role. They can change their view from ITIL view or default view to the portal view. I'll show you all these options right now in our developer instance. So this is the developer instance. You can see this is the developer instance. And in this developer instance, we have created a book table, right? So this is the book table or book um, or tables. And here if I open this book table and you can see this book table have uh, one uh, view that is called default view. So as I told that whenever you created a table by default book, um, by default the default view was created for each and every table. So for book table also there is a default view called um, um, here default view and in this view all the fields are showing right now, right? So let's impersonate that. I will impersonate a end user. For example, I'll impersonate this end user and impersonate that. And if you remember that, we have uh, uh, last time show you that in this book module, if I go to this books module and open this book record, the end user will be only able to modify the state field, nothing else. So I don't want end user to see all these fields like author information, publisher information. I don't want them to see that. I only want to show them the number, book title, and then book description and state. That's it, the state and substate. Price, serial number, author information, I don't want to show them. How can we achieve that? To achieve that, I'm going to create a new view. And then under this new view, I will show very minimum field. Instead of all this field, I'll show you very minimum field. And then end user will be able to see only minimum fields. Okay, so how can we do that? So go back to, as an admin, go back to the books module. And this is the books module. Open a books uh, record, any books record. So this is the one of the book record. We'll right click, configure, form layout. And you can see, so in this form layout, we have a, uh, a default view. So this in this default view, we have a three section, book, author information, and publisher information. So if you see here, I'll open here in this case. I'll open this. So in this default view, we have a three sections. So this is the default view. Right now you can see under this default view, we have a three section. This is the main section and we have two more sections, author information, publisher information. But as an end user, I don't want to show them author information, publisher information and few other fields here. To achieve this, what we'll do, we'll create a new view. At that moment, we have only one view called default view. We can create one new view called, let's say that end user view so this view will create that and once we create that you can see right now we have end user view and we have default view now we have two options to switch back default view and end user view inside the end user view i don't want to show all these fields i want to show only book title and then serial number state substate and then book description that's it we'll save that so now you can see we have two view at that moment this is the uh, author information, publisher information. This is the default view. And then I can switch to the end user view and people will be able to see only very minimum information called number, 
service now um, the serial number book title and book description so this have the very minimum information now what we want we want that whenever end user will be came up they will be only able to see this view not the default view they are seeing right now so they should be able to see the end user view for end user right so what i'll do i'll copy this name here okay so this is our view name and then here i'll modify this edit application here and here so this is the application and this is the menu here i will say that they will see the list of record in this end user view they should be able to see this under end user view all right so we have updated our uh, you know view right now here you can see and then when i will open that i should be able to see under this end user view so let's impersonate back here if i impersonate our user called end user and then go back to the end user options right and then if i search with the book module so this is our book module we click here and here you can see if we, if they open that they can see very minimum information about that book name book title and book description so this way we can restrict them the end user to see the information in a very minimum uh, field with that very minimum option you can see they can see this all this in the very minimum option now end user doesn't have any options to switch back to the default view because as i said that to changing the view user must have the view changer role then only they can switch the view right it means that end user doesn't have this view changer role and they cannot switch back from end user view to the any other view so that's the reason they will see very minimum information these are the very minimum information i want to show as a end user if i end impersonation and let's impersonate as a itl user and see what is happening so if i impersonate a itl user i'll click here impersonate option and select itl user so in this way i let's see that how itl user see this service now book module so this is the itl user at that moment and if i type that book here and click here book options and you can see the uh, itl user can see the end user view and with the minimum information they they can see but they have options to switch between end user and the default end user view and the default user view if they want to wish they can switch back to the default view and they can switch back to the end user view but as a end user they cannot switch the different different kind of view why because this itl user have a role called view changer role so if i see here this is the itl user and they have a role called view changer and because of this view changer they will be are they are able to switch their view from one view to the another view so you can see the itl user have options to change or the user have a role called view changer and that's the reason they can switch to this uh, you know view from one view to the another view from uh, default view to this itl view to the security view to the service portal view so they can switch that now last not the least we'll talk about the view rule so view rules is a um, so i'll go back to the uh, admin profile and talk about that view rules so view rules is a options that allows you to um, show you the view based on the condition for example if you are uh, if you are logging from the uh, laptop or if you are logging from the tablet depending on that which view you want to switch that you can define so here you can click the new option and you can define that uh, for which condition which view should be visible for example our case the book here you can create a view rule for example you can define the view rule name and then for table equal to book and then if you are logging from the mobile you should go to this view you can define that or maybe different condition like if the book author is some user then it should always land to this particular view that also you can define under view, view rule so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day